Okay, welcome back to the gate building series. This is part three, our final episode. Now I'm Andy Fogarty from theathomewelder.com and I'm here for kingmetals.com and we have been building a gate straight out of the King Metals design concepts catalog. We've got it all welded up and we're on the final stages and that is adding our latch mechanism. Now I've ordered this beautiful looking latch from the King Metals catalog. It is very easy to install and we're gonna go over that in just a second. The purpose of this this part of the series is I want to take this latch uh, one step further. I want to do something totally custom to it to make it even more beautiful and flow better with the gate design. Now this isn't a part of the gate design in the concept catalog so I'm kind of going off book here but I want to show you how you can take some of these components and with a little ingenuity you can make something really custom and really beautiful for your client. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, so here is my beautiful gate latch. Now to install these, it's really quite simple. Really, you just put these in place and weld them on and you're good to go. So in my case, this one's a little bit, you gotta kinda pay attention to how they're designed. Mine is gonna kinda go underneath here like this. And my tab kinda hits right perfectly where I need it to be for my picket. And I would just mount the latch to the picket. So I would weld it or use uh, screws, however you want to put that on there, but I'm just going to weld mine on there. You can see I have enough of my latch sticking out, so when I bolt my catch plate onto my post, everything is going to catch nicely. And on the opposite side of this, if I flip the gate over, I'm going to put my little uh, catch, I'm just calling this a catch too, up underneath. So if I flip this over, this is what it would look like on the back side your latch is going to look like this, you would weld your little catch here to keep your latch in place and not going crazy. Now, I'm going to take this one step further. So, this is okay, right? This looks good. You could weld this on here and boom, you'd be done. You could go install your gate. Now, this looks okay. It's decorative, but for me, I don't really like seeing all of this in here. It just, it looks a little bit unfinished in my opinion, at least for this design. That's why I ordered this super cool plate. <laughs> now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually add this plate to the gate just like this. And we're gonna have our latch actually going through this plate and looking really nice. This is gonna fill everything in and it's gonna look more like a doorknob, and, which is really the look that I'm going for. Now, how do I do that? Because once you put these together, you instantly see a few problems. Well, there's nowhere for this latch to come through my plate. So we're going to have to do a little bit of modifying to our latch and our plate to make this work. Now, what we're going to do is since our latch actually needs to be kind of coming through our plate, we're going to drill a hole in our plate the same size as our uh, rod we have here on our latch and we're just gonna run the latch right through this. Now, how are we gonna do that? Because you can see this is all welded together. Well, we're simply gonna take our angle grinder or whatever you wanna use to cut, and we're gonna cut one of our handles off. We're just gonna carefully cut it right off, and that's gonna allow us to drill a hole the same size and run the rod through the plate. All right, so before you start going and cutting, one thing you wanna make absolutely sure before you do is to make sure that you are actually cutting the right handle off. It does make a difference, at least in this particular latch's design. Now you can see right here how this isn't the same on both sides. So when, you, when you're actually putting your latch on your gate, you saw we had to kind of put this underneath, run the latch underneath, and then we'd have our mount here. So since we want our plate on this side, of our latch mechanism, we need to make sure that we are cutting this handle off. So for me, that's pretty easy to see. My latch has got an L shape and it's coming up, so I'm gonna cut my handle off that's on the side that has my tab coming up. All right, so I have cut my handle off, got my latch. Now I'm gonna set this back up there. And actually, you can do this before you cut the handle if you want, but I'm gonna put this on here, and I'm just gonna take a piece of soapstone or a marker or something, and I'm gonna keep this straight, and I'm gonna draw mark this little line so I can see how much of my latch is coming out because this is important. And I'll show you why in just a second. All right, so we have our plate and we know where our plate needs to go. It needs to line up with the edge of the gate. And I know that my plate is gonna come right around in here somewhere. Now we're gonna take that and I'm just gonna take some vice clamps 
kind of hold that in place for a bit. All right, so now we're gonna take our latch and set it on top of our plate so we can see where to drill the hole. Now you can see now why this line is so important. is so we can line up our latch with the edge of the gate. So that way we'll know how far in we need to bring the latch to be able to drill our hole. If I can get that tab out of your way there. So this way I can line this up, bring this in, and I can see, I kind of get an idea of where I want to put my, where I want to have the latch. And I'd like to have mine right in there. This height doesn't really matter, up and down. It's really visual preference, but coming in does matter. So I'm going to kind of line this up right there. And I'm going to take my soapstone or my marker, and I'm just going to kind of draw a little circle around there. Very, very rough. There's my mark. You can see it's not exactly precise, but this doesn't need to be precise. And I'm just gonna take a drill bit, same size as my rod here, drill that hole. That way I can run this through. All right, so I have my plate with my hole drilled in it. You can see there, and I have my latch. Now the latch should fit through, I'll get this right, my hole without any problem. And it does, perfect. And it spins nice and freely, that's great. Oh, fill out. Now, before we weld all this back onto our gate, we need to take our handle and weld this back on here. And one thing to be, you want to make sure of is that when you're welding the handle back on, that you're actually welding them in the same, same direction. So you don't have this handle this way and this handle this way on the opposite side. Now, for our case, you can see one issue you might have when welding this together is actually keeping everything straight. So here I have, it's kind of bending in a little bit and I really need this to be nice and straight since it's fitting, this post is going to fit in between. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my tab here to actually help keep this straight. I'm going to go ahead and weld this tab to my plate here and I'm going to make sure I do it out of sight. So if I'm looking at my gate latch this way, I don't want this to be out here visible. Now this is something that might change depending on whatever kind of design you're working with, but I'm going to hide mine back there, just like that. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to weld it together and I'm going to weld my gate handle on and then we'll slap it on the gate. All right, yeah, so you can see I'm just doing this right on top of the gate. I'm not using anything to hold this in place other than the gate itself. And I'm just kind of eyeballing everything because this doesn't have to be precise. I just need to get this tacked up. See, we, we basically made our cool little gate latch there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now, all we gotta do is kinda set this on here where it needs to go. Now, I have my markings here. I marked where I wanted my plate to go. And just like that, beautiful. And I'm gonna take my vise clamp here and just clamp that again. And then, run my welds. Now you can see this kind of goes a little, still goes a little crazy. So we got to flip this over and add our catch onto the other side. All right, this is it. This is our finished product. You see the design turned out beautifully. And this last section that we did with the latch it's just fantastic. I love the way that it just, it just finishes the, the whole gate. And it, it just wouldn't have been the same, in my opinion, without adding this plate. So hopefully what I showed you today is a very easy way for you to start customizing some of your latches. So just pay attention when you're using these designs that you get from the Design Concepts catalog. And remember that just with a little creativity and ingenuity, you can truly customize any one of these designs. All right, that's it for this series. I'm Andy Fogarty for theathomewelder.com and this series has been a special series that we put together for kingmetals.com using their design from their design concepts catalog. Now, if you don't have this catalog, you're, you're doing yourself a disservice. You need to order this thing. It's completely free and they will ship it to you. The greatest, one of the greatest resources you can have is a DIY welder, especially when you're doing ornamental stuff like we've been doing today. All right, that's it, guys. I will see you again next time. And remember to 
come over to the homewelder.com sign up it's completely free we're going to show you how to do great stuff like this and also give you just weekly tips and tricks that diy welders really should know that's it i'm andy fogarty i'll see you again next time